Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, each advanced level of evolution and ascension contain higher truths, along with new challenges and opportunities to attain self-mastery. Self-discipline, heightened awareness and determination are required. However, the more you bring your ego desire body under control, and allow your higher self to guide you, the easier the process will become. As you expand your awareness, and begin to view life from a higher vantage point, your perspective changes. You no longer focus on the negative aspects or what is wrong in your life as you develop a positive outlook and focus on the good in others. You learn to appreciate the beauty of nature, and what is right with the world. Gradually, you also develop a sense of wonder and thanksgiving for the many miracles that manifest for you and those around you. One of the most difficult things to accomplish is to let go of old outmoded, preconceived thought patterns and habits. Ingrained habits, traditional rules and standards, as well as social, racial and religious influences of the past are only some of the shackles you must release as you strive to become an enlightened ed, free spirit within a newly emerging reality. Humanity as a whole, as well as individually, is still trapped in half-truths and concepts that originated many thousands of years ago. Each of you is a composite of all your experiences, not just past lives, but experiences you have had from the time you first externalized into an individualized conscious facet of the Creator. Many of these limiting thought patterns have no place in your new world of expanded consciousness. It is vitally important that you release these negative influences, if you are to continue your forward momentum upon the spiral of ascension into the higher realms of light and self-mastery. It is time to take an inventory, dear hearts. Review what you have released during the last few years of your time. What outmoded ideas, habits and responsibilities have you released and what has replaced them? What do you still need to release? or transmute into a higher form. What is limiting your spiritual growth, and no longer serves your greatest good? Have you learned that you are no longer a victim of fate, and that you are in control of your own destiny? What are you doing with your newly found power? There is no one or no thing out there doing anything to you or for you unless you allow it. You have been gifted with all the tools of creation, and you are entitled to all the beauty, bounty and opulence of this universe it is your divine birthright. We can assist you, guide and inspire you, however, you are the composer and builder of your world and the reality in which you exist. Each and every day you are projecting thought forms, feelings and intention, which will influence and construct your reality of tomorrow. If you do not like what you have created, and what you are experiencing at the moment, Change your attitude and your thought patterns to a higher frequency, and then watch your world change for the better. Remember, as you acquire skills in focusing your thoughts, and you practice deliberate, step-by-step -step action, your power to create will accelerate exponentially both positively and negatively. Are you becoming more comfortable as a co-creator of your life's experiences? Are you now willing to take credit and responsibility for both the positive and negative experiences in your life? You can monitor and determine what kind of thought forms you are radiating forth out into the world by the people you draw into your awareness. Are you experiencing a lot of negative feedback or interaction with those around you? Are you still allowing people to take advantage of you in order to feel worthy? When you do things for others, how often do you feel harmonious and loving afterward? How often do you feel resentful or exploited? It would be better to not do something for another person, than to do it for the wrong reason. Remember, it is also the vibrational patterns that you are projecting that determine the rightness of action, not just the action itself. In the process of returning to balance and harmony, there must be a balance in all things. There is an energy exchange in every thought you have, and in everything you do. If you constantly give to another person without receiving some kind of positive energy exchange in return an imbalance develops, which soon manifests as resentment or guilt, and often a sense of superiority or inferiority. 
it becomes impossible to radiate unconditional love to another person under such conditions. Have you gone through the process of releasing everything and everyone in your world to its OR their greatest good? This is one of the major challenges you must experience during your journey toward self-mastery. This does not that mean that you will have to give up anything or anyone, but you may be tested to see if you truly mean what you say. Holding on to people or things, and resisting change are the major cause of human pain and suffering. In truth, you do not own anything, and you certainly cannot own anyone. All you are assured of is a moment in time, or the present now moment. Everything and everyone in your life could disappear from sight in a flash including you. We do not wish to make you fearful, however, what we are trying to instill in your consciousness is that everything in your reality of today is transitory. What are you holding on to that still brings you pain or discomfort? What lessons are still to be learned from the discomfort these things instill in you? Isn't it time to let go of the suffering, and to claim ease and grace? Do you own your possessions or do they own you? Are you so deeply in debt or so obligated to others that you have no time to enjoy life? Do you spend all your time taking care of, cleaning, fixing or striving to pay for your possessions? Remember, we have tried to impress upon you, things do not make you happy. Most often, they only bring a moment's satisfaction, and then you are looking for something or someone else to satisfy the urges of your ego desire body. Happiness, joy and satisfaction come from within. What you are yearning for is a quality of life, or a state of being. How long has it been since you took a walk in nature? since you took time to gaze at the stars or the beautiful cloud formations in the sky. Can you remember the last time you walked barefoot in the grass, and attuned to the heartbeat of Mother Earth? How long has it been since you sat quietly and listened to the birds sing or watched the people around you, as you endeavored to sense what they were feeling, or the frequency patterns they were emanating? In your fast-paced existence, isn't it time to slow down and experience the perfection of the moment? In doing so, you are creating more perfect moments, instead of a more frenetic lifestyle, which has become the norm for so many people in today's world. Do you constantly have to be entertained or have outside stimulation to keep from being bored with your life situation? What can you let go of in order to simplify your life, and to make your everyday experiences more enjoyable? How often do you spend time in solitude, enjoying your own thoughts? and the whispers of your soul self. Do you always have to have music, the television, or some outside distraction to keep from tuning into your own inner thoughts? Do you enjoy being alone? You must learn to enter the silence of self in order to connect with spirit your higher self and your God self are waiting for you to tap into the magical light stream of divine consciousness. We sense the yearnings of so many millions of dear souls who wish to communicate with their higher self and with us. It is so simple, dear hearts. All you have to do is state your intention, and then practice going into the silence and stillness within, so that we may clear the pathways, and strengthen the connection that is already there a connection which has atrophied from misuse or non-use. What negative habits have you released? What positive habits have you replaced them with, and what results have you noticed? You will find it becomes easier and easier to release negative habits and thought forms as you begin to see the results of your positive actions. You will automatically begin to fine-tune your everyday conscious actions as you become an observer of your thoughts and intent. It is important that you become aware of the frequency patterns you are projecting, as well as the words you use. Always use positive words of empowerment, tempered by love, and constantly monitor your negative mind chatter. Has it become easier to practice unconditional love rather than loving with conditions? You must first forgive yourself, and practice unconditional love of self before you can practice unconditional love for others. You cannot project or give what you do not have within. This does not mean that you should not strive to better yourself or achieve a higher level of self-mastery. It means that you accept and love yourself the way you are at the moment, as you strive to integrate more of your divinity and the lightness of spirit. Remember, 
heal the past, script your future, live in the moment. Fear of the future is a result of not trusting yourself and the decisions you have made or will make. This is a result of deep-seated memories of failures or painful experiences of the past, in this so are many other lifetimes. Guilt and shame are also ego-driven emotions of not achieving intended goals or perfection in the past. Fear, guilt, and shame are often directed toward other people in your lives who are mirroring back to you the vibrational patterns you need to balance in order to let go of those past negative patterns and experiences. When you learn to radiate balanced, loving energy, it will be reflected back to you through the people you interact with, and also through your everyday experiences. Determine what attachments you have which no longer serve your highest good, and that are holding you back. Make a concerted effort to release those attachments, and envision the vacancies being filled with transforming crystalline light substance. Remember to use the power of the violet flame of transformation. Use this magic elixir often to assist in the transmutation of negative, imbalanced vibrational patterns. Endeavor to sever any cords of attachment that you still have with people in your life. With your inner vision, see these cords of attachment returning to the other person wrapped in loving energy. Strive to become consciously aware when someone is trying to tap into your solar power center. With loving intent, return the energy to the sender. Endeavor to view life and circumstances around you with detachment. Be an observer and reserve judgment. Seek and live by your own truth as it has been revealed to you. Beloveds, you are in an intense phase of transition in which you are letting go of all the negativity of the past from the deepest core level of your being. Old energies, symptoms, thought forms, and possibly pain, are roiling up into your consciousness and within your bodily form in order to be transmuted. You are building a strong probable future through your intentions and actions and you are being challenged to see if you are ready to bring your dreams and desires to fruition. Take some time to determine what kind of probable future you are building. If you do not like your design, modify IT, for if you do not as surely as there is a tomorrow, what you have envisioned will become your reality. We have been with you since you were birthed into consciousness in this universal experience, and we will be with you throughout eternity. From the Sacred Heart Center of our Father or Mother God, blessings without end are constantly being showered down upon you. You are loved most profoundly, I am Archangel Michael.